This Sunday's Gospel reading is a continuation of where we left off last Sunday. If you recall, last Sunday we heard a large gathering of the people, they came out to listen to Jesus, and Jesus went up the mountain and uh, preached. He began to teach them, and we had the Beatitude section where he looked at those people, those broken, those lost, those trampled by the society, and he called them, you are blessed. He saw those people bringing their relatives, friends, to be touched by Jesus, and he called them, you are blessed. He saw those ordinary people, humble and simple in life, and he called them, you are blessed. And as he continued his teaching, today we hear Jesus does not call them blessed, rather he calls them, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Remember, Jesus is not telling them you should become the salt of the earth, you should become the light of the world. No, rather he says, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Jesus was just talking to those ordinary folks there, just like you and me. And he was calling them, and he calls us today, that we are the salt of the earth, we are the light of the world. How could Jesus imagine or think that these people, ordinary folks, would be in some way or other salt of the earth, light of the world, those ordinary folks? This speaks of so much Jesus' trust on each one of us. And it's a great responsibility that he places on each one of us to be the salt of the earth and to be the light of the world. In order to understand what Jesus means by calling us the salt and the light, we need to know the importance of salt and light in the lives of the society, in the life of the community. Salt and light, they have limited use or no use at all in and of themselves. But only in relation to others, only when they can provide to others, then they have great significance. A salt tablet can help someone with dizziness, with fainting, especially when the blood pressure is low. Similarly, a laser light show can be very cool. We see light and salt, they have use only in relation to others, only when they can provide something to others. They not only nourish, salt not, not only nourishes our life, but also it gives flavor to our life. We can add salt to make our food spicier, with more flavor, so we can get some pleasure from our food. That's what Jesus intends through all of us, to bring the flavor of the gospel in the community. Same thing, light. Without light, our eyes will be used for nothing. We cannot use our eyes if there is no light. And even they say, even the blind can recognize the light. So light is useful in relationship to one another. In and of itself, it has no use. And today when Jesus invites us to be the light, and to be the salt, he invites us 
to touch the lives of one another. But I think today is a good day to offer ourselves a pat on our back because we are already the salt and the light in the world. We are already. In some degree or another, we all are salt and light to one another. The very fact that we are here, we have come together, we can see the holiness, the goodness in each one of us. In the devotion that we have for the Eucharist, in the love for our faith, in the love for our church, in the love for our community, we can see that salt, we can see that light that we are to one another. We can see that in the way we raise our families and bring them to the church, bring them to God. There is light, there is salt. We can see the light and the salt in our children, in our young people coming to the church joyfully. Even though some of the parents might disagree, you have to drag them sometimes. But that's still okay. But we, the fact that we gather here, we are a light to one another. We are salt to one another. It can be seen in the couples living their marriage, marriage vocation faithfully, devotedly. We can see that in all of us, when we reach out to one another <coughs> for the needs of one another in the community, through our ministries, through our different works, Boy Scouts, American Heritage Girls, a wonderful way how we become light and salt to one another. Visiting the sick, visiting the prisons, caring for those who are homebound in the hospitals, nursing homes. There we see the light, the salt. We see them, we see the light and the salt in the people who are suffering with various illnesses. Sometimes the challenge that, you know, affects their life. But still, facing those challenges with a tremendous faith, there we see the light, the salt in one another. If there is one challenge today that Jesus would like us to take home, is that his calling to expand our area of bringing light and salt. If today we are happy with so much of our goodness, of our holiness, of our light and salt, Jesus invites us to expand that a little farther. And God offers us so many opportunities in our lives to become that. So today, as we acknowledge the salt and the light within each one of us, let us pray for the grace and the strength to expand that area to a larger crowd, to a larger community, so that we may bring the flavor of the gospel and the enlightenment of the gospel to one another.